All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the playbook. And in this video, I wanna be discussing the importance of being a two-footed player. And I'll start off with, again, a personal example. So you may or may not know, I am right-footed naturally. And when I was a lot younger, again, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 years old, I really focused primarily on the right foot. I didn't understand the importance of my left foot. So it's not that I didn't use it, but it was like a, you know, 75, 25% usage scenario. So I was using 75% right to 25% left. So what I ended up having to do was work extremely hard for about two, two and a half years, really developing the left foot, which was really between 11 to 13, 12 years old. And I spent hours training just the left foot and literally just again, nonstop hours, left foot, left foot, left foot, left foot, left foot. So one, it's extremely important for players to be able to reach a high level that are very proficient with left foot and right foot. And it's a key indicator that you have a player that can do that. And what I mean by that is you'll see players that will get stuck. For example, they have to play a one-on-one -on -one and they only use one foot. Well, you should be able to easily and fluidly switch from left foot and right foot. So that's in dribbling scenarios, one-on-one -on -one scenarios, passing scenarios inside of the foot, driven passes, long passes, lob passes, whatever you want to call it, but you need to be a two-footed player. It is so important for anybody that wants to get to an elite level. It's just, honestly, if you, if you don't want to work on two feet, the chances of you being at such an exceptionally high level is very, very, very low. And you might say, well, there's one or two professionals that are one-footed. And I would counter that by telling you it's not so much that they're one-footed, it's that they're so good with one foot, they can get away with not using the other foot. So they don't have to use the other foot. They, they're still very good with it, but they're just not at the same level as their regular foot. And again, those are exceptions to the rule. You're talking about a generational talent, a 0.01% that can get away with it. For everybody else, you need to build the player that has the ability to use both feet. And it should be closer to 50-50. So 50% left, 50% right. And it will just honestly change your game completely. Having a player that is fundamentally very good dribbling, touch, passing, and receiving left foot and right foot. It's a game changer. And again, if you look at all the best players in the world, they're very, very good using left foot and right foot. And pretty much every single scenario that I already covered plus shooting. So keep that in the back of your mind, add that to your toolkit. When you incorporate your training, and maybe you show this to the, to the player, you say, listen, look at Coach Kyle, he's explaining this to you. And, and I went through it, man, I did it. I worked so hard on my right foot, I didn't want to use my left foot. And I'm like, man, I, they're like, hey, you need to work on the left one. Do I really want to work on my left? Yeah, you, you need to work on your left. So, or vice versa, if you're left-footed, you need to work on your right foot. So, and the final thing I'll give you, this is actually a bonus tip, if you have the potential develop the left foot first because most players in the world, like 90% of them are right footed. So you already have a distinct advantage if you're stronger left foot from the jump and you build that natural attrition to it and that'll be an advantage to you. So that's a recommendation. Again, using the playbook, left foot first if you can and right foot. I mean, obviously the balance should be 50-50, but you know, build that comfortability first. So see you later.